Hello everyone, welcome back again. I am MD Mijan Rahman Manu. Today I am talking about Yarmid view. Last video I was discussed about pre-process the meteorological data, how you download the meteorological data and how you pre-process the data because it's very important. And today I am talking about how you use that meteorological data in the Yarmid view because I received a lot of mails from my viewers and they asked me a lot of questions about your mode view your mode view and how to preface the data and there actually they faced a lot of problems of the preprocess data and also your mode view for only that reason i am making this video again so let's see at first we should open the your mode view and i told last video uh, how you download this Yarmid view at first you uh, send me mail and I will send you the link of Yarmid view I will try to help you to download and install the Yarmid view we will make the new project today and here new after that we should select the locations and my location is here today Yarmid A to Z here your mid tutorial and if you want i will send this project to you but i need subscribe okay after that you get this type of window and you should take some meteorological data i mean you should make a file so that's why here you see the tools keyword and you should click here after that you get the old survey data and you should you should open this you should click here the import from Excel okay after that you get this type of window and here you see the specified file I mean which file you pre-process the live video that file you should input here so I click here, then my meteorological data is yeah, here. Here we have one month meteorological data and if you need this data just send me mail. I will put my mail address in the description and must send me mail. I will send you this data personally. Okay. And here you see the first row to input. No, it's actually you. We can see first row. It's not actually the input. Input is start from here. First row is just name of the column. So that's why uh, we put here two from here the main data. After that, Excel column name. We should mention here the column name. Here we see the A number column name is year B number number b column in month and in c column date so that's why we put like this oh. and here the one thing wind speed kilometer per hour but here the meter per second so that's why we should change from meter per second to kilometer per hour yeah and last video i maybe mention one thing if your hour is start from 0 to 23 so you should change here here 0 to 23 and if you start from 1 to 24 so you should select 1 to 24 the next is the station information you should put the, uh, the station information and you also put your the location actually where you collect this data i mean wait a minute i mean you bought some data from here right so you should put uh, the uh, location here in this map 
so this location you should also put here so here is station id if you have station id so you should put the station id and if don't have you don't have station id you just put here one two three four five then city i'm in shanghai so that's why i uh, shanghai in, uh, in china so that's why i put here shanghai and state shanghai indicate uh, china indicate a uh, cn after that like my locations is here in, in this place so that's why i just uh, click here by my mouse and i can see my location here this is the latitude and this is the longitude and so also 30 49 and 08 north 121 26 and 57 is east my location actually so that's why i put it in here with the latitude and longitude okay i already write it in my here i write it 30 49 0, uh, 0, 08 38 north then 12126 57 57 east and the time zone of china is beijing plus 8 Euro. yeah it's everything is okay if you have the station you should put here otherwise it's no need it's optional when you put everything just click import you see this is successfully done and here's uh, the surface data file in Samsung format has been created actually for year mate we need the Samsung format so that's why we are doing this thing after that we can see our our data here actually I don't understand what is this actually this is the Samsung format so that's why I don't understand this window I mean it's all also another preprocess system of year mate when you finish this the uh, the year mid preprocessor data is done we made also samsung file after that you see here the samsung format and after that here have a specific file i mean the samsung format file which we preprocess we should input here you see metadata what to say when you put here you see the year automatically appear here also latitude longitude is here after that you can check your location from here so that's why i told the last video you need to download google earth pro and i also uh, also put the google earth pro downloading here okay when you get uh, when you uh, check your locations if it's okay then just put here next you need to do anything the next level after that it's a little important We need to include some variables from here to this side just click here then double double click in the uh, description here in this arrow three and humidity four and station pressure five so five is okay and you should you should write here like uh, the missing indi indicator is double and double line After put everything, then click here modify range, then re click the next. 
you don't need to do anything here then if you have the station uh ear mate so you can put here and if you don't have just you click the upper ear estimator and here select the time zone so, okay then ear mate height it's 10 always 10 so that when you when you come here you should download something from surface station it's very important for ear mode when you click there then you get the land use creator it's very important after that you should go to view then site domain and you get this window then this one the first one okay after that you should import the tile map because the next video maybe we need to use the tile map so that's why then import uh, sorry apply you said that the tile map is appear here and then okay our area is this one after that we should save this tile map so click here then you should select the locations i mean this is the location just you should put in the tile then open you see here the web gis and here also load glcc global one kilometer auto detection you should click here it's actually change the terrain it's okay now here you can see in the save button just press in the save button it's okay it's already saved when you do the everything after that you should you should import the tile map from here click here then file the tile map then process you see here automatically some value will come yeah see that means it's, everything is okay the next again next your project is complete you can run now just run let's take little time hmm. then you can see your surface file the two type of file after that you can check the work plot here let's take little time to come and then uh you can see the windows here and you can convert as you need from meter per second or kilometer per second and direction blowing from and uh, blowing vector blowing blowing to actually blowing from and blowing to here we see and here i have the wind speed you can change everything here. It's a lot of things are here you can change here the art what you need actually you can change the color you see change the color rainbow and also here top and everything you do, you can do there it's very good and also you see the percentage you can do the big and it's also small you see 13 you can you can actually adjust this then we know the grid you saw the result vector also everything you can change then result vector the result vector i would do so you can do anything after that you can export it you can export it in the google pro just click here after that you get this export to google earth just click here export you see here it's very beautiful view really it's a very beautiful view and you can save you can save it from here see the image save yeah and you can see just you should select your location here. okay hmm. now we can open this uh oh this the surface everything you can do everything so that's why i that's why i told you it's very powerful sector 
when you finish the pre-processing of your mod you get the lot of files here so in the all uh, from here the important two file is pfl and sfc this two file actually we will use this two file in year mode and also we see how to use point source area source line source everything how we calculate the concentration of ground level 2 meter 5 meter even 10 kilometers and of 10 km height we can calculate and also we can calculate the 50 km after 50 km surrounding so thank you guys uh for your concentration here for your time here and if you face any problem just send me mail i will put my mail in the description and i i just need your support and i need your um one click in subscribe button because you know we are all are busy but uh, i'm investing my time for you guys and if you think when i started to learn the yermit software it was very hard for me because there is no any clear videos no any clear tutorials for me so i waste a lot of time to learn this software so i so i just request you request you guys for for subscribe my channel and i also i also uh ready to help you and if you just send me mail i will send you everything every document if you need as soon as possible because i am also working here so that's why if you face any problem just send me mail i will must send you your uh your files and the others you need just uh be patient good luck Bye-bye.